I am working on level four of motivational strategies, and I can't help myself. I have to give you an assessment of this particular pathway before I say anything about it. The first project I'm supposed to do in this level four is do a project that requires me to engage other members of this Toastmasters club to help me do something for the betterment of the club. To me, that sounds like a long-term project, not something that should be done as a, a small beginning project for motivational strategies. However, I am working on something that may need help with. I am trying to get a Toastmasters club introduced into my granddaughter's high school. That has been a very slow moving thing because no one's around during the summer. I decided to then move on to the elective projects. Well, one of my problems with pathways is all of these projects are very restrictive. Uh, they, they, they're very narrow focused. And Maria, yes, maybe I can do another pathway, but looking at other pathways, it's the same problem. There's very, very narrow uh, focus for projects. I decided to do managing a difficult audience. And at first I thought I would talk about running the teenage inpatient group, which I did for eight years. And teenagers aren't exactly the most cooperative people in the world. And I also did family therapy. And uh, you know, if teenagers aren't bad enough, then you've got a whole family with little kids running around. I'm honestly an expert at managing a difficult audience. I, 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 I will say that. What I'm supposed to do for this project is give you a speech and have people interrupt me during the speech. And that just seemed obnoxious. So what I've done instead is I am going to tell you how to manage the dog pack through pictures. Let's see, share screen, uh, share sound too. All right, so first I'm gonna talk about Batty. And you know what, I'm gonna, get rid of Okay. Batty is 13. And when I say she's neurotically attached to my daughter Melissa, that that is not a casual statement at all. When um she is around Melissa, she sits right behind her desk chair. So Melissa can't even get out of her chair without moving around and getting Batty to move out of the way. When we started walking, which we started doing when COVID hit us back in March of 2020, Batty would not let me even hold her leash. She just wouldn't let me. She, if wherever I, I was, if I had her leash, she would get on the other side of Melissa so that Melissa was now corralled by the leash. So we just decided, okay, Melissa's going to hold the leash. Now, Batty is a rescue lab. She doesn't look like a lab. And we're pretty sure she's not any lab at all. She doesn't particularly like to retrieve and she hates the water. She was dog number one. When about probably about a year and a half ago, Batty started to decline. One of the problems for Batty is that when Melissa is out of the house or away, Batty doesn't eat. And Batty had gotten to the point where she wasn't eating and she wouldn't even go out to go to the bathroom. And, and she was pretty shut down if Melissa left for a couple of days. So the, the thought was, okay, well, let's get her a playmate you know, and, and perhaps a replacement, which I know I hate to say it that way, but that's what Shadow was. Well, Shadow is another lab rescue. And if you can 
get an idea of how tall she is, she's hardly a lab. Uh, she is a tank. She is absolutely oblivious to what's going on around her. And if you're not careful, she'll knock you over. Oh, green already. I'm going to give you a uh, move this out of the way. Just to give you an idea. No, no, don't try and don't, don't try and eat my camera. Give me the ball. 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 Give me up. Up. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. No, give me the ball. Let me have it. Let me have it. All right. All right. There we go. Give me the ball. No. Uh, how do I get to the next slide? Next slide. When Shadow came around, Batty kind of livened up a little. And then a year went by, and then we went back to the same routine. Batty wouldn't eat, wouldn't go out to go to the bathroom, wouldn't do anything. So the family decided, okay, let's get another dog. So now we have Wilco. Wilco's been around for two months. Wilco is a very, very sweet dog who will be. She's also a lab rescue. And it, another one is she's not lab. She's totally he, I'm sorry. So here's a problem with poor Wilco. Wilco already has an identity crisis because we all keep calling him a she and it's a he. And this is gonna be, it's really sad. But anyway, she's ignored by Batty and trampled by Shadow, uh, it, the poor thing. But I keep telling Shadow to be nice to the dog because this is what the dog's gonna look like when it's full grown, because it's mostly Weinerheimer. Here's the three of them together. I am now, I'm way in the red and I'm sorry, but I am now holding Batty because Batty has decided that she doesn't want to be bothered with either of these other dogs. And now Melissa walks the two dogs in front of us and Batty walks with me and everyone's happy. You will notice in this picture, both of the other two dogs are looking across the street at a dog. Batty is looking at her mother. What has happened? I meant stop share. The, the end result of all of this is what has happened is when Wilco came on the picture into the, into the family, Batty suddenly had no problem whatsoever when Melissa left the house. Melissa has been gone twice this summer. Batty was eating normally, going outside normally. So I think the, the bottom line is when your dog starts having a problem, just get another dog. Thank you.